a day at the Maryland State Fair. And yes, that is some pig racing. So when you first walk in, you see all of these little booths. And the 4-H building is where I went first. As you can see, very Maryland themed. Uh, there is a lot of artwork here. A lot of some people's submissions, lots of prizes. Very cool, very unique artwork. I love this cornhole board, obviously very Maryland. And even some winners of the agriculture contest, it looks like. And then also they had some butterflies and even like ants here and even some wool. Like you guys, I cannot make this stuff up. I love it. It's so Maryland. Uh, agriculture is very big here. And then you also have some flowers that one. And I really love this section from the University of Maryland. Maryland, where it shows you some gardening tips and tricks and lots of educational stuff, how to make a raised bed, uh, lots of corn there, some popcorn to the left, and uh, some more informational things on the raised beds, but very pretty section, really liked coming here. Next, we're off to the agriculture building, and wow, y'all, I was so excited. Some cows, and I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it's not just cows in this building. There are so many more animals uh, alpacas, goats, sheep that were so cute. That little guy's eyes. Oh, such a sweetie. And they had some beef cattle and then uh, he has some little ducklings. The cuts of meat by the uh, animals definitely didn't send me the right way, but it's fine. <laughs> then we have some cutie little sheep and freshly sheared other animals. Not sure what this one was, uh, but just really cute to see. And these are the last couple I just had to show y'all, and I really vibed with this guy. That's me off an Eddie, for sure. This is the birthing center area, and look how fresh this baby cow is. Literally, the placenta and whatnot is still hanging off the mom, and she was still giving him a really good cleaning, like a good mama cow. And there were some baby piglets, so many, so cute. Lots of hardworking mothers out there. Big shout out to Esther for taking care of all of her little piglets. And even more baby piggies and baby animals in general. We got these cute little guys there and then some chicks. And I even got to pet a little baby pig, which was really nice. The next place I went was the swine judging area. Not really a ton to see here, but it was pretty cool to watch the babies feed on their mama. Then I got hungry, so it was time to get some food. They do have some really good options here, like Jimmy's Famous Seafood and a bunch of other local stands. I went for the fried green tomatoes and a gyro. The fried green tomatoes, which that one is kind of red, <laughs> it was pretty okay. The gyro, not so much. Don't recommend. Then this was the exhibit house. And and one of my favorite parts had to have been not the exhibit stuff, but the birds. So cute. I loved being able to feed the little parakeets, which was really nice. Uh, they do peck at you a little bit, but honestly, like, they don't hurt. Then this is so Maryland. I love the mallets and the knives. I'm definitely going to have to get one of these. But, y'all, it was almost time for the pig racing show. You know I couldn't leave that out. Had to get an appropriate drink. Then it was time to race, and y'all, you gotta cheer sue when you get them to come out. So I'm going to just let y'all hear the live audio from that, as that was one of the main things I did here and one of the crowd favorites at the State Fair. So enjoy. <laughs> Whoa! Sue! And here we go with race number two. Come on down. I'm loading up for those starting gates. <laughs> Number four! 